Hello everybody, I'm Andrew from Creator Red Studio and today I will teach you how to build complex characters using X2D in Unity. Okay, let's start. Here's our character, Lumberjack, we will work with it. So, how you can see, there is a lot of layers and uh, all body parts of Lumberjack separated from each other on different layers so here I will show you okay there is back arm back leg body front leg front arm and head of course so we separated all body parts to layers so we can animate them using unity animation tool but I'll tell you about it a little later so Let's see, we have our front arm and there is a little black dot. It shows us the pivot point which we will use later in animation. So you can see this is the center of rotation of the front arm. Back arm have the same dot. So it will be rotating around it. Okay. To export all these layers to the separate files with transparency I will use my little script but you can use default Photoshop script export layers to files ok let's export I need to take my script and drag it here we need destination destination prefix I don't need prefix at this time okay so it's exporting each layer to the transparent file with no trimming and we will be able to use it here we have our layers saved to files and now we can go to unity and start to create our character there uh, let's see these files they are not trimmed so the position of each part of the character is saved. This will help us to build our character properly in the Unity using X2D. Okay, this is my Unity scene. There is already some graphics uh, and we will place our lumberjack here. I don't use Pixel Perfect, so all my graphics uh, have the same scale to fit each other. Uh, so let's start. First of all, we need to import our graphics to the project. I'll create a folder for this. Lumberjack lesson. Oh. And then I'll drag and drop the art we will need for this. Let's place it in the folder, textures, lumberjack textures. X2D have its own atlas and it's uh, really powerful, so we will use it. Let's create one. Let's go to the create X2D atlas info first. Here we have a uh, few options, uh, save pass is uh, right, asset name, let's name it Lumberjack Atlas, and uh, create it. So here we have our first atlas created, uh, we need to place our textures here, so press edit, there is X Atlas editor. We will drag and drop our textures to the atlas and press apply. And here we have uh, ready atlas. Press build. And now we can use it to build our character. Let's create a game object. Create empty. And name it Armbar Jack. This will be the base object. Uh, the group that will contain all of the lumberjack parts. Let's 
place it somewhere and begin to fill. Let's place it in root. Each part of Lumberjack will be x3 sprite. Let's create one. Here it is. And place it inside Lumberjack. This is our first uh, sprite, the base. Let's name it Lumberjack body. And we'll attach our texture. Here it is. Let's find it. Here. Scale must be one one one. Okay. Here we have this body of the lumberjack. To create other parts of the lumberjack, just copy and paste the base, the body and assign the different texture. Let's see what it will make. Uh, how we can see the pivot point is there, the same position, but uh, texture is new, it's lumberjack arm and it have uh, the right position. Let's name it arm. That's because our textures wasn't cropped and they all had the same size at first. Atlas cropped them but saved all the positions. So we can just use one of them and copy paste and just attach new textures and have them in the right position. This is arm 2, this arm 1. That's the basic of how to create the right position of our character. It has uh, bad pivot point but uh, that's not a problem. Let's create it and then we will fix it. Uh, here is uh, finished uh, lumberjack. Uh, how you can see there are some death issues uh, and we will fix them. Let's see. Uh, we'll bring some parts of it to the front and some to the back so it will look right. Okay, here is uh, the right looking lumberjack. Almost, almost right. And here it is. Now it's almost done. How you can see, it looks right, but its pivot points are the same and the rotation is wrong. So we can't animate it using these pivot points. The first method to correct pivot point is simple, just make offset of the texture with uh, X sprite settings. Let's see, let's duplicate it and move our pivot point to this black dot which uh, shows us where it need to be rotated. How you can see it moves the texture so, so we need to know the right position that's why we duplicated this object now we have two objects with the right pivot point and with the bad one so we will just delete bad one that's it the method is simple so we will just offset our pivot point to the desired and we will have uh, the good rotation of our sprites the second method uh, to change pivot point is to create a new game object, create empty, and let's name it lumberjack arm to rotation. This will be our uh, pivot point and rotation point, and let's place it in desired location. Here it is. Let's place it in the lumberjack group. And now we will attach our hand to this rotation point. That's it. And now we have 
our rotation point set to the correct place using uh, the empty game object. After we have set all the rotation points, uh, we just need to set the hierarchy of uh, character and that's it, the character is done. The next step is animation. Uh, I'll try to tell you about it uh, in upcoming lessons. So let's finish it and make the hierarchy. The character is finished, uh, rotation point set, uh, so that's it. This is a simple way to use X2D with Unity to create complex characters and combine uh, X2D animation and Unity animation. Thanks for listening. Uh, it was Andrew from Creator Red Studio. Come and check our site. Uh, I hope uh, we will see you again and I'll post new lessons soon.